Okay, after messing with a few batteries, real quick here, let me pan this up. There's been a lot of talk about the Skylipo 1600. You might want to see my face. Hello. I can't fit this all in here. Skylipo 1600. I just messed with it. I'm not seeing a big problem now. I don't know exactly yet where the speed control wires come out. Um, got the wing mostly in here. You've got a couple holes as you can see there. One towards the front, one towards the back. Now I assume one of those holes are where the speed control wires come up out of the bottom where the speed control is underneath. So depending on which one of those holes it has to come out of, I'm not exactly sure why there's two holes. Uh, only one of those needs the speed control. I guess depending on how you want to mount it under there, I don't know. I haven't read the instructions yet on how to build it, so that'll probably tell me. But as far as fitting the 1600 in it, as you can see, if you put the back in first, it slides right underneath the wing, and easily, without pushing very hard, boom, there it is. It's in there. It will slide all the way back to there. I mean, it'll go almost totally underneath the wing. If I push hard enough, it will go totally underneath the wing. So, I don't you know, I'm sure back that far, the center of gravity is probably going to be way too far off. I'm sure I can't put it back that far, but it is possible. It definitely fits underneath the wing, no problem. I mean, you can pull it all the way forward, where almost the entire battery is up in the chamber. But, if your speed control wires are coming out of that hole, there's hardly enough room for that wire to get through there, beside the battery. Uh, plus, then your battery has to be shifted all the way to one side to make room for those wires to come through. Which, to me, would throw the weight off a little bit, where I'd be wanting to lean to one side a little bit, because the battery is not right in the middle. Um, that may or may not make a big difference, I don't know. But, as far as getting it back out, uh, just grab the two wires here. And just lightly pull up. And boom. Uh, I really didn't have to pull that hard. I got it out easier just a second ago. Uh, so, to me, unless I'm missing something here, I don't see how this battery is a big problem fitting in there. Maybe once I get the electronics in there, I'll see something different, but I'm not sure on that. Um, as far as the Skylipo 1300 30C battery, um, that also, you know, no big deal. That fits in there. If you go this way, I mean, it fits all the way up in the front. Do the wires the other way. You know, I mean, that. That battery is no problem whatsoever. Let me try to move this for the lighting coming from the window. Might help you all see a little better. There we go. That's a little better. So that's about how far it goes in there with the battery wires facing forward. So again, I'm not sure which way it needs to go in, the wires facing back or facing forward. I don't know. Also, have a Thunder Power 1800 milliamp 45C battery. Uh, so even larger than what they really say. But I did look at the measurements. It's actually even shorter than the Sky Lipo, uh, but it's a little bit thicker. I tried to put it in there. Same deal. Putting the wires facing forward. It will fit underneath the wing with not too much pushing. It does fit in there. So slides back forward a little bit. It just fits underneath the wing. I mean, pretty much perfectly. There's just a millimeter of a gap between the battery and the wing. So it's not super tight, as you can see. Um, and it comes out a little, you know, it's a little tricky. You gotta pull the wires just the right way, but it's not that hard to get it out. So even an 1800 milliamp 45C Thunder Power will fit. Um, so there you go. My next test was the Genzase 
3300 milliamp five cell. No, just kidding. <laughs> that one will not fit. I guarantee it's a little bit too heavy. But anyway, it's a good battery. Just trying to throw a joke in there for you. So there you go. Trying to show you all the battery compartment, how things fit, which batteries will fit. Those are three examples. All three of those I think will work. Uh, whether the 1800 is too heavy, I don't know. Uh, according to the specs online, the Thunder Power 1800 is only 9 grams heavier than the 1600 Sky Lipo. So I wouldn't think those 9 grams would make that big of a difference. Um, but again, I'm not a huge 3D flyer. I'm just learning 3D. And uh, maybe those 9 grams do make a huge difference. So I'm sure y'all will tell me that on RC groups. Um, but anyway, there you go. I'll try to cut this video off. There's the Edge 540. And I will try to do maybe another video after I get done building it, telling you the experience in building it. So again, there's my face. You haven't get to see it much. Good to meet y'all. And I hope this helps somebody out. Happy flying.